Here are some of the realities behind the scenes. I mean challenges are faced for the first year being on YouTube as a Ugandan content creator in East Africa. Yoga everybody, I'm Ray Moses. So these challenges have made me become more stronger and knowledgeable towards my journey as a content creator. And I hope it can help you guys have an understanding from my point of view towards helping you take a step forward towards realizing your dream as a content creator. Number one is vlogging. So as a Ugandan or an African content creator, people think I'm nuts or I'm going crazy when they see me vlogging in the middle of the streets. Most people look at me and I'm like, they're like, ooh, is this guy going nuts? Is this guy crazy? Wait a minute. I'm not nuts and I'm not crazy. And so are you. You are not nuts and you're not crazy. I'm just making videos for my amazing subscribers and viewers to enjoy. I mean, you guys. Most people here don't know that you can actually make a living through making videos. They definitely think you're wasting a lot of time and, you know, there will be no uh, fruits gained from your hard work, you know? I remember an incident that happened. I was uh, making a vlog in the middle of a town and most people were staring at me and they're wondering whether, you know, I'm just crazy or, an, oh, I'm running mad. Like, they were like, uh, how can a person just hold the camera and speak to themselves? And I'm like, come on, hold on. I'm making videos for my lovely subscribers, you guys to enjoy. I'm telling you, we are moving in the streets and people are looking at us like, they so crazy. They're like, what are these guys doing? <laughs> we are creating content for you guys to enjoy. <laughs> So with that said, just keep doing what you do, keep doing what you love and don't care about what people say. Just keep making videos because only the sky is the limit. So next is subscribe, turn on notification bell. Hold on, wait a sec. Oh my goodness. Basically in Uganda, we do have subscription plans like for TVs. Uh, a good example is DSTV, GoTV, Star Times. Uh, and for people in the USA, a good example is Hulu, YouTube TV, Netflix. And for people in Europe who love sports, a good example is Sky Sport, BT Sport uh, for, for soccer or football. And for these packages, you simply pay uh, a monthly subscription, uh, let me say $10, $5, whatever uh, the country you're in. Yes, literally, you don't have to pay a penny unless you're in a premium YouTube membership subscription. And for that, say it. If you're watching this video and it's adding value to you, could you please consider subscribing to my channel, click on the notification bell below uh, to stay updated whenever I upload new content in relation to this. Thank you so much for subscribing. So literally guys, uh, when you subscribe, you're not going to be charged any amount of money. Just subscribe, uh, turn on the notification bell and leave a comment down below saying I subscribe. Thank you so much. So the next challenge I faced personal as a YouTuber is uh, slow internet. Slow internet in Uganda's Oh my goodness. Literally, the slow internet in Uganda makes uploading uh, YouTube videos so hard and annoying. For example, I have this 10-minute uh, video and it is around 3 GB in file size. I basically have to monitor this upload for a very long period of time because the internet is very slow and it keeps breaking on and off. It keeps going on and off. So probably it may take an hour or two hours or sometimes even three to four hours depending on, you know, the, the, the internet speed. So I want to be sincere here. This situation is literally so bad when you're using a mobile device or a tablet. So the solution to this, uh, I personally started using a software called Handbrake uh, to help me compress or shrink the uh, video files to a small uh, file size. So for a video that is uh, around 3GB in file size, it can shrink it to 60 MBs without losing any quality. I mean, no quality will be lost. I did a whole tutorial on how you can use Handbrake and uh, how you can use it to, you know, compress your video files. I'll leave the link down in the description and also I'll put it right here. So I also started using a laptop for uploading these videos uh, on, on YouTube and trust me, this changed my life. Like it changed the whole trajectory. It's way much faster. So I would urge you to start using a laptop uh, when you want to upload, you know, your video files instead of using a phone or a tablet. This will completely change your life and it will simplify uh, your experience of uploading videos on YouTube. So the other challenge I faced uh, as a content creator in Uganda and in East Africa is expensive internet. So as you already know, uh, internet is pretty slow here. And on top of that, here in Uganda, it is damn expensive. It's pretty expensive for a YouTuber who has just started uh, his or her YouTube journey. A good example, one gigabyte of data in Uganda is around 5K Ugandan shillings, which is approximately uh, $2. And in most cases, this is not enough to upload a YouTube video, which is more than 3 GB, unless you're uploading a YouTube short or, or something uh, that is pretty small. And for this scenario, you need around $3 to upload a 10 minute videos, which is around uh, 3 GBs.
So for my advice for this challenge, start shrinking down your file size using Handbrake. It will be way less costly because it will compress it from 3 GB to around 60 MBs without you losing any quality. I mean, no quality will be lost. And the expensive data plans makes it very hard for the viewers down here in Uganda to watch our videos. So this is another challenge that, you know, we are pretty much faced down here in Uganda as a content creator. People not believing in your vision or goals. So when I was starting my YouTube journey, I mean, I shared my dreams and goals to some of my friends and trust me, most of them didn't understand me. Most of them are told me to start off a small business instead of wasting time on YouTube. And most people discouraged me not to start off my YouTube channel. And I look at this and I'm like, if I listen to these people, trust me, I would not be here uh, making these YouTube videos. So if you have a dream, if, you, if you're passionate about something, please start off right now. You don't have to wait for tomorrow. You need to start off right now because tomorrow will never come. But now is now. Start off now, start making videos and only the sky will be the limit. So one thing I can tell you is that you don't need to give up on whatever uh, thing you're pursuing. Let me say it's YouTube. You need to keep moving. You need to keep working hard because the moment you give up, that's the time you fail. But if you keep pursuing, if you keep pushing hard, man, you just wake up one day when things are blown up, things are good, you know. So keep doing what you're doing and just keep having hope, keep having faith. And man, just keep doing what you're doing. So for these challenges, uh, a challenge faced by many different other content creators, and it is editing. Many content creators in Uganda face this challenge of editing their videos. Their storyline may be very nice, but the final touches in editing uh, their final video is a little bit missing. Yet editing is one of the most important things, and it can either kill or breathe life to your videos. So if you're facing these editing challenges, I have a couple of videos uh, on how best you can improve your editing techniques and how best you can tell better stories through editing. I'll leave uh, the link down below in the description. So the next challenge uh, most content creators here in Uganda face is financial constraints. Coming from a very humble uh, background for many Ugandan uh, content creators, this is a pretty much a big problem uh, towards them realizing their dreams or starting off. Uh, a good example is that you have to buy a smartphone, you have to buy uh, a laptop, you have to, you know, incur in transport, lodging, let me say if you're a travel vlogger. And when you combine all this, in most cases, some people just give up. You know, they just give up and they're like, uh-uh, I can do this. It's so expensive. But what I can tell you, you can begin with what you have. You can begin with your smartphone and then just shoot videos on your smartphone and edit videos on your smartphone. And later you can upgrade to this uh, beautiful uh, and amazing expensive cameras later once you master the skill set of uh, speaking in front of the camera and editing using your smartphone and just shooting. Because once you do this and you master all this other skill set, finance will not be the biggest problem. Because because you would be utilizing what you have. And with time, you will start off buying gears, buying the most expensive cameras like the Sony A7S III uh, to just improve your quality once you've understood like the general basic knowledge of YouTube and filmmaking and editing. So guys, that's it for today. Wi-Fi high five. If this video added value to you, could you please consider subscribing to my channel? Click on the notification bell below to stay updated whenever I upload new videos in relation to this. And, and watch this next video to learn about how best you can improve your editing uh, techniques. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Peace. We're out.